In this video, we are going to teach you how to set up and extract text and other information from images using the Google Gemini AI API service. Later, we will show you the accuracy of the output, so please stick around. Gemini AI has the ability to extract text from images and interpret the contents of the image. This model can take in images and answer questions about them. You can provide images by uploading a file. This model also has many other abilities that we will cover in another video. For text extraction, Gemini AI uses a technology called Optical Character Recognition, or OCR for short. It analyzes images of text, deciphers the characters, and transforms them into editable digital text. For image recognition and classification, OpenAI Vision uses LLM technology to interpret what it sees in the image you uploaded. You can use this model to solve a myriad of problems involving images, documents, chatbots, speech, and even writing code. For example, you are asking users to upload an image of a document for a specific purpose, such as proof of address or age. When the image is uploaded, you can ask Gemini AI what is displayed in the image, what text is included, and what type of document it is. The model will verify if the uploaded document is appropriate and contains the necessary information. Other examples include extracting data from forms and tables in invoices or receipts, converting handwritten notes, and handling multiple languages in one image. To get started, we will show you how to sign in and create a free Gemini AI key to access the API from an external application or web page. To create a new Google account, go to ai.google.dev. If you already have a Google account, like the one you use for Gmail, you can use that account here. Otherwise, you can create a new account by clicking the Create Account button. Once you are logged in, go to the AI Studio to create the API key. Click on Get API Key and then Create API Key on this form. Select a project or create a new one. Wait a few seconds for the new key to be generated. Copy the new key value to your clipboard. You will need this to access the API later. You should then see an entry in the list with the project information and the API key value. The screen indicates this key is free of charge for testing purposes. When you go to deploy your model, you should set up a billing account to access a production version of the model, one that is more reliable and with higher throughput. Here is how you can install the Gemini AI SDK package for Python. It may take a few minutes to install this in your Conda environment. You will see a list of all the packages that are going to be installed. Click Yes when prompted. For more information on how to set all of this up, running a Python script or a Jupyter Notebook in VS Code, see my video on Python Conda and Jupyter Notebooks on VS Code. The link can be found in the description below. This process will take a few minutes to complete. Verify the package was installed using the conda list command. Here it is named Google Generative AI. This package includes many methods to use and communicate with the Gemini AI model service. Be sure to select your Jupyter kernel. I am using one that was set up previously named GCP Cloud. First, you import the packages you will need later on. I use the OS library to get environment variables. You will need to set up an environment variable for Gemini AI API key with the value you copied from the API key web page earlier. This key value is used in the Gen AI configuration method. Next, we define a function that will be used to upload your image to the Gemini server. The file needs to be uploaded before the model can access it. We run a few lines of code here to verify the file was uploaded successfully, returning the location of the image. Here we have a function that will take in two variables, an image path and a prompt, to ask the model a question. We use the Gen AI generative model method to select a model to use. Here we are using the latest model available at this date. Then we will run the model using the generate content method. We have some safety settings here to prevent the model returning any results that may be considered negative or harmful. These settings are optional. Then we return the text from the response. Our first example is using this image, a diagram of a jetpack, with some description included. We ask the model to return only the text it finds. This can take a few seconds to run. The results look promising. Compared to the image, we can see the accuracy is 100%. No mistakes or missing text. This is pretty impressive. Some of the other OCR services 
such as Google Vision, AWS TextTract, and Azure Vision don't usually hit 100%. For more details on these other services, see our OCR video series. Links are in the description below. Our next example uses the same image, but with a price listed. We ask the model different questions here to analyze the image and also give us the cost of the product. Once again, the model performs very well, giving us a list of items that describe the jetpack and returning the cost that it found. It actually had to interpret the value it found as a cost, as it was not explicitly listed as a price. The results for this model is impressive. Similar to our findings on the OpenAI model. See our OpenAI GPT-4 Vision API video for more details. With the new models from OpenAI and Google Gemini, we are entering into a new era of capability for using OCR text extraction applications to simplify and automate document handling with high accuracy. Both of these models are still in the early stages. We are looking forward to seeing how much more can be done with generative AI and how we can use these models to simplify our lives in the future. Want to learn more about AI and its potential applications? Stay tuned for future videos where we explore the fascinating world of AI. Thanks for watching our video. Comments and suggestions are appreciated. See you next time.